Hey folks, uh, I've got one last video about equal static equilibrium and it's involving slip or tip, uh, otherwise known as stability, okay? So, uh, for example, let's say that you have an incline and you put a box on the incline and then you begin to lift the incline up farther. You make, you make the angle with the horizontal bigger. At some point, that box is going to start moving. Now, there are two things that could happen to it. It could slip down the incline, okay? Or the box could tip over. And that depends on the angle of the incline and what your coefficient of friction is and the geometry of the box, okay? So um, which is going to happen first, slip or tip, okay? So what you do is you figure out the, 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 the largest angle that can occur before each one happens, and you compare the two angles and see which angle happens first, okay? So um, let's start with slip, okay? So when something slips, what's happening? Well, let's say here's your incline and here's your box, okay? If the box begins to slip, that means that the force of gravity that's parallel to the incline is greater than the force of friction. So if I draw the FBD for this, okay, and I'll draw it in component form. So here you'd have mg sine of theta. Here you'd have friction. Here you'd have your normal force. And then you'd have the component of gravity that's perpendicular to the in incline mg cosine of theta. Um, if you're at the moment of slipping, just before you slip, these two forces will be equal. You'll be at your max friction will still be mu fn, okay? Now, if the angle's smaller than your max angle, then friction will be less than mu fn, but it's always gonna be mg sine theta until the box begins slipping. But again, when you make this angle big enough, at the moment where you've reached the equate, where the equation is equal here, then you're ready to slip, okay? So at that moment, mg sine theta is gonna equal uh, friction, which is mu fn, which is mu. And in this problem, fn equals mg cosine of theta. Well, hey, look at this. The m's and the g's drop out of both sides, and you get mu is equal to sine of theta over cosine of theta, otherwise known as tangent of theta. So when you when your angle reaches whatever value this is, if you if, like, let's say you're given a mu of 0.3. If you do inverse tangent of that, you get an angle. If you if your incline is that angle or bigger, the box will begin to slip down the incline. So that's slip. Okay. Well, what about tip? Okay. Well, that's a different story. That has to do with geometry. Okay. So let me kind of explain. Um, let's say I have th uh, three different inclines. Let's say here's the first one. Let's say you put a box. I'm going to make the box kind of tall like this. Okay. And if I were to draw the, the force of gravity acting on the box, it would go like this, okay? Now notice that that force of gravity passes through this part of the box. This part of the box is called the base, okay? So if, you, if that happens, okay, the normal force, it'll act at the bottom of the box, but it'll be more concentrated over on the left side. So your normal force will kind of go like that. Okay, now again, it wouldn't be just one single place. It would be distributed throughout, but it would, it would focus to the left side of the box. And in this case, your net torque would be zero. It, your force normal would, would be enough to make your net torque zero, and the box would not tip over, okay? Well, what if I make the angle extreme? So what if you get this for your, your angle, and in here is your same box, and now if I draw the force of gravity acting straight down, well, now that line of force, here's your force of gravity, that line of force does not pass through the base of your box, okay? It doesn't intersect the base of your box. This would tip, okay? And by the way, this over here would be no tip, okay? So because the normal force here, it would, it would act like this, and both the weight and the normal force would cause counterclockwise torques, and that would make your, your box tip over, okay? So where's the border? Well, the border is somewhere, and I'm going to try to draw this as best I can. The border is somewhere 
I'll make I'll draw the force of gravity first. I'll cheat. All right, so we got that. So here's the border case. When the force of gravity, that line of force, acts uh, at the very edge of the base, it passes through the very edge of the base. This is ready to tip. So this is our limiting case. Okay. Now, the cool part about this is it's all about geometry. So let's say this is your theta. Okay. Well, then I, if you do a little geometry, you'll figure out that this is also your theta. Okay, so for instance, let's say this is a six foot by two foot box, or it could be a six inch by two inch box for all that matters. Um, as long as the dimensions are three to one, uh, it'll work. Okay, so this would be three feet, and this would be one feet. So the ratio three to one would be the same as six to two. Tangent of that angle would be. Uh, opposite over adjacent, so it would be 2 to 6 or 1 to 3, but I'll write 2 to 6 down, okay? Um, I'll write both, actually equals 1 to 3. So that would tell you the angle at which the box will begin the tip. So then how do you know which is going to happen first, okay? Well, okay, so you have your slip and you have your tip, okay? Your slip is mu sub s equals tangent of theta. Your tip is tangent of theta is equal to geometry. Um, you know, uh, I'll just write two over six down for this particular box, but it would depend on the dimensions of the box, okay? Well, all you do is you see which angle is smaller, and that's going to happen first, okay? So if you do this calculation with, with slip and you get a, a theta of 20 degrees, and you do the calculation with tip and you get uh, 18 degrees, well, then tip will happen first, okay? Um, so it just depends on whichever angle is smaller. So um, that will be what happens first. Uh, now, one other thing I'll mention about tip is this is where top heavy comes into play and with geometry. So let's say you got the same exact box, okay? But this time uh, it's top heavy, meaning the center of gravity is up high. Like you, the top of the box is heavier than the bottom, okay? So maybe it looks like, that. Okay, so it's top heavy. Well, now that would affect your geometry, right? So like let's say here's your triangle. Okay, if this were still a six by two foot box, this would be one foot, but maybe this here is like four. Okay, well then in that case you'd have your your tangent of your angle would now be uh, one over four and it would be smaller. Okay, and therefore it, it's more likely to tip than it is to slip. So again, the, the smaller angle wins. The smaller angle is what's going to happen first, the slip or the tip. So um, again, that's that's talking about stability, um, and it's a it's two limiting cases, and you got to figure out which one's going to happen. Um, I hope that uh, that video was helpful, and thank you very much.